Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, today our theme is, there's a point where it's just too late, but not today. There's still time. Open your heart to hear what God's Word says in Proverbs chapter 1, verses 28 through 33. We'll be finishing up the first chapter of Proverbs. Then they will call to me, but I will not answer. This is wisdom speaking to people who are walking in foolishness, who are rejecting the ways of wisdom. He says, then they'll call to me and I will not answer. They will look for me, but I will not find, but they will not find me. Since they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Since they would not accept my advice and spurned my rebuke. Wisdom is saying, I'm giving you all the wisdom you need and you're rejecting it. And then verse 31. It says, they will eat the fruit of their ways and be filled with the fruit of their schemes. Again, that what goes around comes around. Sometimes we reap the exact things that we sow. For the waywardness of the simple will kill them, and the complacency of fools will destroy them. But, but, whoever listens to me, wisdom says, will live in safety and be at ease without fear of harm. In the end of this personification of wisdom, speaking about this invitation to wisdom, wisdom, how some people reject wisdom and don't want anything to do with it, the consequences of that. Finally, wisdom says, be careful. If you keep walking in folly, you're going to experience the cost of that, but it's not too late to change. So, so just, just a couple of thoughts. Uh, where I pastor in Monterey, California, there's a school called the Defense, Defense Language Institute, the DLI. We have students who come here to learn a language. Some languages will take nine or ten months, some take a year and a half. Imagine somebody comes here and they're going to learn Arabic. And, and they've got 18 months to learn the language. And for 17 months, they do none of their work. But they really cram at the end, that last month, they're going to work hard to learn the entire Arabic language in 30 days. When it doesn't work out well for them, when they don't pass their exam, could you imagine them saying, how could God let this happen to me? No. You'd go, well, well you spent 17 months goofing off, and you try to do the impossible, learn an entire language in 30 days. You'd understand that it makes no sense to, to get mad at God because things didn't work out. But in this passage, wisdom is saying, you know, be, be, be careful because there's a point at which it, you, you've, you've had wisdom come your way, you've ignored it, ignored it, ignored it. So last minute you go, okay, I want it now, I want it now. And, and wisdom is saying, but there's a point at which, guess what, you're just not going to get it. Like that language student who in 30 days wants to learn the whole language, so they goofed off for 17 months. But I'm serious now. I want to learn the language. Guess what? Guess what? It's too late. We have to be careful we don't do that with wisdom. When God gives us wisdom in how to live, how to have relationships, how to handle our finances, how to handle every aspect of life, there's wisdom in God's Word about that. And we reject it till the last minute. We don't want to be at a point where it's too late. Listen to verse 31 one more time. They will eat the fruit of their ways and be filled with the fruit of their schemes. It's kind of that you made your bed, you get to sleep in it. If we walk in folly, we're going to experience some consequences of that. I remember a man who put his faith in Jesus, but he also was wanted by the law for multiple crimes. This guy, when he became a follower of Jesus, he actually went to the police and turned himself in. And he, and he confessed his different crimes. I'm not sure if I would have gone that route personally, I'm being honest with you, but this person felt called to do that. They did. And guess what? God forgave them for all their sins, but the government didn't. They actually gave him a shorter sentence because they felt like he was already being rehabilitated. He was always already changing his outlook, but they still, he was still served jail time because of the things he had done. There were consequences, even though there was grace. And then verse 32 says this, for the waywardness of the simple will kill them and the complacency of fools will destroy them. There's big consequences to a life of foolishness. There's big consequences to, to knowing God's wisdom and rejecting it. Even if in late in the game we say, I'm going to grab it then, guess what? God's grace, the thief on the cross learned that God's grace is there till the end. But if we live in foolishness through our life and want to kind of grab onto wisdom at the end, we may find ourselves paying still for some of the consequences of that foolishness. But here's the good news in verse 33. But whoever listens to me, wisdom says, will live in safety and be at ease without fear of harm. Yes, there's consequences if we reject wisdom over the long haul. But I love how this passage finishes and this first chapter of Proverbs finishes by saying, but there's safety, there's peace, there's comfort in walking in the wisdom of God. 
it's not too late. I don't know what you're facing in your life right now where you're walking the path of foolishness, but it's time to turn around. Don't wait till tomorrow, next week, next month, or next year. Turn around today and follow God's way of wisdom. Here's my challenge to you today. It's not too late. I'm going to pray that the Holy Spirit will speak to your heart. I'm going to ask you just to quiet your heart and say, God, right now, say, God, what's one area of my life where I know how to live, I know the wisdom you've given, I know what I should be doing, but I just haven't adjusted my life. I'm continuing on in that pattern that's going to lead to destruction. God, I pray this would be the day that many people, including myself, will hear your voice say, learn to walk in wisdom today. May we not wait till tomorrow. May we today begin to walk in your ways, following your word, and living lives of wisdom, we pray in Jesus' name and for his glory. Amen. Well, blessings on you. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week.